Hello, I'm Dwayne, and welcome to TransAlchemy.com. Today I want to talk about three phases to healing. We, in our Western society, have been accustomed to doing healing processes that are mainly focused in the past. Although the past can hold you back from things, yes, there's also the present moment, and there's also the future and how you see the future that is a great asset to you in having a complete healing. We can do the work that holds us back in the past from being a higher vibration in the present moment. And we can release ourselves so that we can actually go to higher vibrations in this present moment. The present moment and our awareness to our vibration and increasing our vibration changes, literally changes our timeline and how we perceive reality. The thing that is, is that when we move through dimensions, each time we pop through a new dimension, we can have an absolute flip in our understanding and what we see and how we feel and what constitutes reality. As we pop into a, a different vibratory frequency, we begin to shift our understanding. It's a common experience to hear people talk about their whole belief system turned inside out, and it does because the way that you used to think changes and you begin to see things a much lighter freer and effortless so past working with the past and unlocking and releasing yourself from old paradigms old patterns and then stepping into the present moment and raising your vibration. Now what else assists in raising the vibration in, in the healing process is being able to see a future. Being able to see yourself in the state that you want to be in. As you focus on yourself in the state that you want to be in, you begin to adjust again your emotional vibration to higher levels. Because there's an old saying, what we see, we become. And as you see yourself in higher vibration, you become that higher vibration. The thing about it is, and that we have to begin to understand, is that it gets simpler, not more difficult. Difficulty belongs to the three dimensions. The third dimension, reality, we find that people have a tendency to make things difficult and confusing. And it doesn't need to be. It can be very simple. After all, it is your life, your reality, and how you choose to heal yourself is entirely up to you. Because there isn't any set program for anyone. It's only your program, only your exploration of yourself that's going to do the healing. I don't do the healing and others certainly don't do healing. But your shift in perception does the healing. Your shift in how you think and how you believe. What you constitute as something that stalls you and something that frees you is all in you. And as you begin to associate more and more with what it is that frees you, you begin to create your own techniques for you. Each person that comes in and sees me, we begin to uncover and understand their own way of getting to source energy 
and maintaining that higher vibration. Each one is different. Each one has a, has a different way of doing it. And that's all perfect. It's the way it's supposed to be. Your relationship with source energy is your own. So as we move through the three phases of healing, we want to let go of past things that hold our vibration down. We want to take a look at the critic, the internal critic that criticizes you and learn to remove that. Learn to let it go. Stop listening to the liar in you because you are grander than what that liar is talking about. That liar has been programmed ever since you were little, ever since you entered school. That self-criticizing voice inside. As we get to the point where we diminish and actually release that critic completely from ourselves and understand it's not us, we can begin to hear a real connection inside. This connection is your connection to Source. And as you listen to that connection to Source, you begin to breathe in that energy and that vibration. Many of the Octurians that are here are teaching this method of being able to resonate in a higher frequency that really our only way to stop our evolution is to be convinced that we're not worthy of it. To be convinced that there's so much to do before you actually raise vibration. The truth is you can raise it now. You can raise it in a moment. And you can continue to raise it for part of it is only a pattern, a pattern that we were hypnotized into, a pattern that says you're not worthy of such light through you. And all we have to do is recognize that we're perfect as we are now and that we can open up that sliding door above us and allow that light in that we are worthy of it and there's nothing else that you need to do but allow yourself to step into there a lot of the work is taken care of when we remove the critic because the criticizer continuously berates us on the fact of raising to higher vibrations it doesn't like that it doesn't like the fact that it's losing control of you but when you set it aside move it out of your head, move it out of your body, set it aside and begin to feel the loving voice inside of you again that connects you to source energy. You become very free. And what you begin to see in the present moment is a reflection of how you see yourself in just the near future. And you begin to see yourself glowing brighter, smiling more, and that gets addictive. And the next thing you know, you're smiling more. You're feeling better. And when you do that, of course, manifestation works from the present moment and how you feel in the present moment. So when you feel good in the present moment, you're sending out the vibration that attracts feeling good in the next moment. It's really simple. It's not that complex. How good can you feel right now? How good can you begin to vibrate in a higher dimension now? As we take a look at these concepts, there are definitely things that you will begin to learn about your Octurian past. Because in the Octurian vibration, 
problems that show up simply are given no attention and they drift by. Because the power of your attention, your awareness, you're going to begin to learn this real soon. That the power of your awareness, your attention on something, makes it more. Right now, you're not aware of something I'm going to mention. In fact, you don't even know you have one while you're sitting here listening to me. It's the big toe on your right foot. Now that you're aware of it, you sense it. You're aware of it. You can feel the top of it, the bottom of it. Awareness is like that. It makes things more real. So the more you allow yourself to simply focus on what it is you desire and what it is that you want. Simply focus on releasing and letting go of the past in an easy and effortless way. Shifting into the present moment and having a good time here. You become aware of your future self radiating in lightness, in joy. As you become aware of that, it becomes more. Everything becomes more. As we take a look at all of the troubles in the world, if our focus is on that completely, instead of raising vibration to a higher level where we can do something about it, in the sense of sending that vibration through human consciousness, being that pillar, being that light that radiates into consciousness. See, that's why we're here. We're here to bring that light into us. And as we bring that light into us, then it mixes with the consciousness of humanity. And then other people get it much quicker and much faster. As we get back to our work at hand, at what we're here to do, is to resonate a vibration that sends out to the world of things. Home. Home within you and within me. And this home is the removal of the masks that we wear, that we pretend we're not these spiritual beings. We remove these masks and we become that great part of ourselves that we have hidden ever since childhood. We've hidden this part of us, this great being within us. And we put on different masks to appease and please people. But when you take it off and you say enough's enough, remove the critic and you stand in your power, this present moment is your power. Whatever you think in this present moment becomes. Whatever you think becomes. It always has and it always will. What you think of yourself is exactly what you're manifesting. Always. As we reach higher and higher levels of vibration in other dimensions, your steadfast focus on who you are is what you get to travel in. You are now. You're traveling in this three-dimensional body. But you don't fool me. I see you in there. As you see me in here. And from this place in us, we don't necessarily belong to this game that's going on here. And in not belonging to this game that's here and around us, we're bringing in something more. We're also aware that this body can perish and this body can be reborn. 
but we go on as we always have as we always will we simply go on healing healing is really about getting off it as Alan Watts would say getting off the denial that you are this source energy and it flows through you always and the more aware you become of it the freer you become and healing really is about becoming freedom healing really is getting off it in a way and understanding that you are this source energy and that you can look inside of yourself and heal those places and raise vibration and become more thank you for listening Here.